Mickey throws hard, but some people said before he came up with the fourth ball, and he had a little slider all along that his fastball was straight. He'd come in and he'd throw it in the low 90s, just straight. The hitters will get on it. The good big league hitters. So he had to come up with a fourth ball. We might see it right now. top half of the ninth it's the top of the order for Toronto Garcia Mosby and Bell and keep trying to keep them close he did not get a good piece of that he had a pitch he could handle but into foul ground goes Barfield to make the catch and he might have gotten away with one there it's a one nothing game as we go to the ninth The right parts. Mr. Goodwrench has the right. The only exception to that string of one-run victories for the Royals, game two of this series, which they lost 6-5 in 10 innings. The last six games Kansas City has won, regular season and last night in the playoffs, have included home runs by George Brett. They hope they can win this one without a round tripper from their main man. They feel Charlie Liebrand still has enough on his fastball. He's gone 2-0, but they've still got the outfield. They're going to make Garcia, it appears, hit the ball the other way. Keep it away from his power where he can't pull it in the left field corner. 3-0. and well, Prisonberry was not up at the start of this inning, but three quick balls may get him up. There he goes. Liebrand has walked only one. Cliff Johnson starting the second. Make it two. He's only strike out one. He had that string of 13 consecutive retires. He's thrown 12 ground ball outs. And out comes Gary Blaylock. Very slowly to buy some time. Mosby up there. Probably to bunt. And do you let Lee Brandt face him because he's a left-handed batter and then get to the quiz with Bell and Johnson and Barfield? I think he's thrown hard enough now if he can get Mosby out that he may just stay in the ball game. He's pitching well. He still has a lot of speed left on his fastball. He's hardly thrown that circle change that he threw early. There's Quisenberry. Hauser let five finish yesterday for one reason. Prisonberry was ready. He said he deserved the finish. He pitched so well. He's throwing the ball well. He's going to stay in. Lee Brandt working on a four-hitter, and he's had a busy night in other ways, too. He has established league championship series records for most assists in a game by a pitcher with five, and most total chances accepted for a pitcher with eight. Now will Bobby Cox play the old baseball action tie at home and win on the road. If he uses that, he'd probably let Mosby swing away. But he is left-handed against the left-hander. I would think he's going to be funny. Brett guarding the line and up tight at third. Mosby stepped out. Garcia at first stole 28 this year, but not for a good percentage. Thrown out 15 times. Chase back. Trying to find out something. See if Mosby's top hand would slide up. Took off a bunt. Brett down there, not only close, but guarding the line, trying to prevent the extra base hit where two men might get in scoring position if it was hit between him and the line. Swinging away and taking a strike, but no sign of the bunt. So Bobby Cox, with that pitch anyway, holding two to four, he sacrificed just 21 times during the entire regular season 161 ball game that was lowest to the major leagues. He trusts in his sluggers. Mosby doesn't pull the ball well, especially off hard stuff like Liebrand's been throwing, so it'd be tough to him to take advantage if he tries to pull the ball at the gap between Balboni and White. Inside, one and one. Sterling Scott report to fan accommodations. If you like the pitcher's duel, you're enjoying the heck out of this one. There's Jimmy Williams. You can see Mosby on that one, but Lee 
Brett went over. Mosby then, when the ball was on the way to first, slid the left hand up, trying to decoy Brett.